The Revolutionary War is often called the War for Independence, and it was in more ways than one. The American colonies were rebelling against England, but young patriots were also rebelling against their fathers, who remained loyal to the mother country. For Georgia, the colony most economically dependent on England, it was particularly hard for these fathers to understand why their sons would rebel. All right, traitor! In a wheelbarrow, this Tory is being run out of town by patriots. They won't hurt him, but they'll poke him and make fun of him. The patriots were rebels in favor of independence. The Tories were loyal to England, loyal in part because of the British mercantile system, which benefited both the colonies and England. The whole idea of the mercantile system was to, uh, to guarantee that the mother country, England, had the supplies she needed. Uh, and, and this was the system. This was the way it worked. And uh, the colonies were there to support the mother country. What did the colonies get in return? They got protection. And they got markets. In some cases, they actually got subsidies. There were some uh, crops that, had it not been for the British subsidies, for the British actually paying people money to grow these crops, uh, that, that the crops wouldn't have been grown. Those crops were profitable, and Georgia's economy was prospering under its capable British royal governor, James Wright. One of the people who got rich was James Habersham, a Savannah merchant. His business depended upon England. He was born there. He was loyal to the king. Uh, Habersham served in the, uh, the royal council, which were the royal advisors, uh, the, the advisors appointed to advise the governor. He held a number of other smaller public offices, justice of the peace and things like that. Uh, and through this became one of uh, Wright's closest confidants, uh, one of his most dedicated servants, and a loyal servant to the king. While James Habersham remained loyal, his son, Joseph, joined the Patriots. Divided from his son politically, James Habersham wrote these famous lines. Father against son son against father, and nearest relations and friends combating with each other, cutting each other's throats. Dreadful to think of, much less to experience. Differences between Tories and Patriots came to a head when Britain passed the Stamp Act. The Stamp Act would put a stamp on uh, paper and all of the bills of sales and legal, legal documents and this sort of thing would have to buy a, um, a stamp, even something as simple as playing cards and stationery. These things would have to have a stamp. As a result of this new stamp tax, a group of rowdy young patriots called the Sons of Liberty, or Liberty Boys, began meeting at Tondi's Tavern in Savannah. Joseph Habersham was among them. Together, the Liberty Boys planned ways to protest the Stamp Act. Repeal the Stamp Act! So we argued that the British didn't have a right to tax us because they taxed us by Parliament, which was over in Britain, and there were no Americans in Parliament. So we raised the cry that we were being taxed by a body, Parliament, in which we were not represented. Taxation without representation. No more parliamentary oppression! To the Liberty Boys, the Stamp Act was the last straw in a string of British trade restrictions and taxes. Many of them were upset about the economic impact that this would have on Georgia. These were young men who were fixing to begin making their careers, uh, wanted Georgia to have an open economy as it had had, and feared that British taxation might, in, in some way or the other, damage their economy. He wouldn't go out and just really uh, take the stamp collector and, and hang him or, or beat him up. This would be really radical, and of course the people would be put in jail for that. But you could, in fact, take a dummy and call it the stamp collector or, or some official, and you could uh, do these various acts of violence to this dummy that you were uh, pretending or suggesting might well occur to the um, actual stamp collector were he, were he to come to town. The Stamp Act was repealed. But instead of disappearing, the Liberty Boys grew in number. And because rebellion against the crown could mean hanging, they attempted to keep their identities secret. In the eyes of the, the British, anybody who was uh, joining the revolution was a rebel. 
and a rebel under British law uh, could be hanged, drawn, and quartered, uh, which was not a particularly nice way to die. Uh, this was one reason why uh, someone some years back did a handwriting analysis of the signers of the Declaration of Independence and uh, concluded that about half of them were scared to death when they signed it. Their hands were shaking and trembling. But you think about it, if the British had won, the first thing they would do is go get a copy of that Declaration of Independence, say, all right, we'll start hanging with John Hancock and we'll go down the list. On April 19, 1775, the famous shot heard round the world at the battles of Lexington and Concord ushered the 13 colonies, Georgia among them, into the Revolutionary War. As soon as a revolutionary government was in place in Georgia, James Habersham's son, Joseph, arrested Governor James Wright. I've often wondered just exactly what uh, father and sons talked about when they sat down at the dinner table at night. I mean, can't you say, well, Joseph, what'd you do today? Well, I arrested the governor. Gee, Joseph, you should have done that. You know, this, uh, uh, I, you know, go sit in your room, this type of thing. You're grounded. I just, you know. Fortunately for Governor Wright, he escaped aboard a British ship. The war for America's independence would last six long and bloody years. In some ways, it was a war about a young nation no longer needing its mother country. Let's look at it uh, the way you would look at children growing up. Uh, you reach a certain point growing up in which you believe that you should have more control over your own life. Uh, if your parents decide that you shouldn't and want to keep tight control on you, uh, you tend to rebel. England had been controlling America uh, through acts, through laws, and many of these had helped America. Uh, America had grown strong and prosperous. America now was ready to go out and do more on its own. In, at the very time that England wanted to restrain those colonies. So you had a sort of a, a parent-child clash there. James Habersham died a year before our nation's independence was officially declared. In Congress, July 4, 1776, the unanimous declaration of the 13 United States of America. But Joseph Habersham, the son, born in America, patriot and liberty boy, lived to hear the Declaration of Independence read aloud in Savannah in 1776. Take up your primer, clear your vent, prize. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. Take up your lens stop. Blow your match. Fire! By the Revolutionary War, Georgia was the youngest colony, only 42 years old. Virginia was the oldest at 168. 